Okay, now the third part to this card, we're going to use Hello Honey cardstock, um, the Calypso Coral cardstock, and the Coastal Cabana um, ink. And I use this Fun Flower stamp, the Elegant Butterfly stamp, the 7 8 inch um, scalloped circle and then the one half scalloped circle and for the butterfly and this I used embossed the decorative dots paper and if you have a bone folder just try to roll some of those edges up a little bit Nothing too drastic, but it adds, again, a little bit more dimension to your piece. And you glue down this little clips of coral dot, or center piece. A little yellow, yellow piece. Okay, and then we're going to use the Wow stamp that is in the Bravo collection. This little Wow right there. And since we're stamping, I'm going to grab my my little foam block or piece of paper and just try to center it if you can. Go straight down, lift straight up. Okay, and then you want to glue down the flower and I'm just adding glue in this middle section. I want the leaves to stand up and I do try to center it so it's on this card topper because I don't want to have to cut off the flower and then the butterfly, I actually have a little dimensional. And this edge, and I'm using the dimensional from the edge, so I don't have to cut it in half. Just adding that to the back. And you can lift up the flowers a little bit. And you can add the butterfly wherever it looks pleasing to you. <clears throat> and I'm thinking I need a little bit of little bling. So I'm going to add a little sparkle. There we go. And that's your card piece. And I don't think I cut out a separate <clears throat> um, piece of white cardstock, or you can use a colored um, white stock. And what you're really going to do is just glue that to whatever you decide will be your card. And it is a little bit smaller than, and I'm not thrilled with the white on white. So perhaps one of these colors, you know, you could cut and make it into a card. That's too much white for me. You could even back it with a little piece of Calypso Coral so it pops out like a little eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch. So there you have it. That is with the best day 
and the in colors paper and then here was my original and my original I did with the paper I had on hand and I embossed all the different petals with the Stamp It Up embossing folders. Use the same stamp. A little different color combination, but look how beautiful that is. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you decide to make this card, I would love to see it. Um, email me and perhaps I'll add them to my blog. If you're not working with a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Request the free catalog and I will get that in the mail for you. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.